There have been some puzzling delays, but there is no partisan split in Congress about investigating the failure of U.S. intelligence to detect or prevent the September 11th attack on America. The House and Senate Intelligence Committees have now agreed to form one joint panel to conduct an inquiry. Hearings are likely to start in April. The attack, of course, led to the war in Afghanistan, and it was another tense night there for U.S. troops who came under attack just 24 hours earlier at the Kandahar airport. When sentries spotted an unidentified vehicle about a mile away, flares were launched, and one drifted back into the American base, causing a large fire. It was eventually put out, no injuries reported. In Pakistan today, the case of kidnapped Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl grew more confusing. The man accused of ordering the abduction four weeks ago again changed his story. This time, in front of a judge. And as CBS's Barry Peterson reports, investigators admit they don't know what or whom to believe. Hidden under a blanket, surrounded by machine gun toting police, Sheikh Omar Saeed came to court, and the chief suspect in the kidnapping of Danny Pearl sent shudders about Pearl's fate. As I understand it, he matter of factly told a stunned court, he's dead. Pakistani police were dumbfounded and dubious. We asked him, where is he, where is the dead body, if he's killed? We asked him many questions, he can't answer a single question. Pearl's pregnant wife, Marianne, issued an emotional written statement. She said her unborn baby boy is now breathing into his being the worry and apprehension I have about my husband's well-being. And she added, from the bottom of my heart, I appeal to you, please release Danny. The Wall Street Journal said it remains, quote, confident that Danny Pearl is still alive, despite Saeed's statement. The statement could be more than just misinformation. It could be an effort to discourage authorities from continuing their investigation, or worse, it could be a signal to those holding Danny Pearl that he is not to be taken alive. Saeed also revealed that the kidnapping was an anti-American act because Pakistan supported the U.S. war in Afghanistan where Saeed trained at camps run by Osama bin Laden. I think, he told the court, that our country shouldn't be catering to America's needs. What police and Danny Pearl's family now desperately want from Saeed is proof, one way or the other. No one is giving up hope yet. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Islamabad. A U.S. federal jury in Phoenix today convicted a Saudi man of lying to the FBI when he said he didn't know one of the September 11th hijackers. Faisal al-Sumi later admitted meeting Hani Hanjur, who was on the plane that hit the Pentagon. Al-Sumi is the first person tried on any charge linked to the attacks. He faces only up to six months in prison.